Hey guys, what is going on? And in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick overview of the Redrick's Broadsword and the most efficient way to get it. Now let's get into the stats. Now as you can see here, this pulse rifle belongs to the highest impact, lowest rate of fire class of pulse rifles. And the stats do look really average, so I bet you're wondering, what's the big deal about this weapon? Well the big deal is that it has a very special perk exclusive to this weapon called Desperado. It also has Outlaw. With these two perks combined, it makes a very deadly combination. What they do is, Outlaw will give you extremely good reload speed when you get a precision kill, and Desperado, which is exclusive to this weapon, will make it so it has a very increased rate of fire whenever you trigger Outlaw. Now here are the quest steps and the most efficient ways to get these quest steps done. Number 1. Defeat 200 opponents with Pulse Rifle Final Blows. I think that the most viable options for completing this are the Bygones Pulse Rifle from Gambit and the Chattering Bone from the Raid, concerning that those are the most viable Pulse Rifle options at this time. Number 2. Reach Bower Rank Heroic. I think this one is easy, it just takes a lot of time, like all these quest steps. Really what you need to do is play Rumble, because that is the fastest game mode, and if you replace in the top 3 that will count as a win and keep your streak. Number 3, earn 75 double plays. For this I suggest just using your energy or special weapon. Just whatever is easier, even like a dust rock boost would be fine to do. Number 4, get 150 precision final blows with pulse rifles. This one's just like the 200 opponents defeated, but just aim more for the head and try and get a high stability pulse rifle because that will really help. Number 5, get 50 void, 50 solar, and 50 arc final blows. The best weapons I suggest using for this, and obviously you should match this up with the subclass of the same element to make it go by faster, is For the Void Final Blows, I suggest using Telesto. For Solar, you can really use any Solar Exotic, but I suggest using Icolo Shotgun because that's a good alternative and allows you to use an Exotic Heavy that is also Solar. And for Arc, I suggest using Risk Runner, Trinity Ghoul, Queen Breaker, or even a Badlander, which is an Energy Shotgun that is also Arc. And in number 6, complete 25 matches of quick play, 25 matches of rumble, and 25 matches of comp. Notice how I said complete and don't win, because you only need to complete them, this does not require winning the actual game. Number 7 is complete 20 crucible bounties. I think that you should be starting on this quest long before you actually get to this part of it. Because you can save up bounties and then once you turn them in they will still count But make sure not to turn them in before you actually get to this step or else it will not count Now the last actual step of this quest is reset your battle rank five times And the best way I can suggest for you to get this done quickly and efficiently Is for you to play rumble as I said earlier And make sure to play on double and triple, triple valor during iron banner which is usually the time it comes around because then you can earn a lot of Valor, and that is how I did it very quickly and efficiently. Overall, I can say that this weapon is about half the time very good. And I say half the time because without the perk, it's just an average, high impact, low rate of fire pulse rifle. But with the perk, you can pretty much fire as fast as you can pull the trigger and still keep the exact same damage. Which is an extremely good perk to have on a pulse rifle. And that's really what makes this thing more of an exotic than a legendary, and why it should be called a good pinnacle reward. Thanks for listening. See you later.